Good morning. Welcome to Dude RV. I really appreciate you stopping by and you got here just in time for a cup of coffee before the day begins. I'm currently set up at Clear Springs Campground on Wright Patman Lake, southeast or southwest of, we're just southwest of Texarkana, deep in the East Texas Piney Woods. Beautiful, beautiful campground here. You'll have to go back to last Sunday to, to, to get the full experience of Clear Springs. Right now, well, not right now, right after breakfast, I'm packing up and we're moving across the lake and we're gonna go pay a visit to Piney Point Campground, which is another Corps of Engineer campground here on Lake Wright Patman. Hopefully it's gonna live up to the same standards that they do here at Clear Springs. So let's let's get on the road and go to Piney Point. Thank you for coming along. Piney Point Park, we have arrived. What a, what a beautiful lake, Lake Wright Patman. So we're in site A33, kind of at the end of the road, it's at the end of the loop. We are a 30 and water site, asphalt pad, very level. Uh, I had to scoot over that way a little bit to get it perfectly level. Best of all, we have water access. Not much in the way of shade, but that's okay. We've got soft start on the air conditioner so we can run both of them. We have a cooking table, a two planker, charcoal grill, fire pit, concrete picnic table, no shade. But I actually have got the coach close enough that when the awning's fully extended, it'll cover, it'll cover most of the table. Not that we're gonna need that. Anyway, I gotta go back up to the front and get checked in. But while I'm doing that, we'll go see some stuff. We'll go see some Piney Point stuff. So right outside, or as you're as you're headed into Piney Point campground, you you see you're actually driving straight into Spillway Park. Which is where I am now. I'm, I'm not even going to attempt to take you down into the spillway because there's, I'd have to come back up. <laughs> I bet this is a crazy place to be if there's a flooding rain. I'm not sure if it shows up on the camera, but there's a discoloration on the concrete wall down there. That's the, the water mark, high water mark, which means that's water was coming out of here. And you can see the water lines on that riprap. That's like a crazy big flood. If, if any of anybody's watching this, if you've got some footage of that, I'd sure like to see that. Post a link in the description down below. Somewhere around here, there's a, a start of the disc golf. There's a disc golf course. I see the, the cages. I have yet to find hole number one. I'll keep looking for you. All right, let's go find some more stuff. If you're coming out to Piney Point Park, the Triple P, if you're going to come to the Triple P place, Piney Point Park, on Wright Patman Lake, Lake Wright Patman, there's the dam right over there. You'll be happy to know, my boat ramp fans will be happy to know, they have got a big boat ramp. That's at least three laners. And a courtesy dock. There's just so much, so many birds on this lake. 
A lot of cranes. So there we are. The boot ramp for a Piney Point Park. I am just amazed at the water line, the high water mark on this lake. It gets up to the base of this big tree right there. That's a lot of water, man. That's a that's a lot of flood. <laughs> Let's go see some more Piney Point Park stuff. What a beautiful view. The mowing crew just came through. Had to, had to put a pause on all the video stuff here at Piney Point Park, the Triple P place. But they are gone. So now it's time to deploy Little Red. Let's go see some stuff. Piney Point Park, the Triple P place. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm tired. I've been running all day. Two days straight, I've been running. Anyway, so Piney Point Park on Wright Patman Lake actually has some really, really nice campsites there's several of them that are that are pull throughs that are back in the, the trees like this this i really like this one Man, just look at the the view i don't even know what number this one is let's see what number this is that's number a41 so make, make sure you watch the, the virtual tour this coming Thursday. Click on the subscribe button so you won't miss it. Hit that bell, that way you, you'll be sure not to miss it. All right, let's go see some more Piney Point Park stuff. If you're coming out to Wright Patman Lake and you're gonna be visiting Piney Point Campground, you might be happy to know they actually have a place for the kids to burn off all that sugar that they've been eating. All right, let's go see some more stuff. Wright Patman Lake is a freshwater reservoir for Texarkana. And from this campground, Piney Point, you get a stellar view of the intake for the Texarkana water system. And site number, I think it's site number 15. Ah, uh, really, of, of all the sites in this campground, I think this is my favorite. Mm -hmm. It's got a commanding view of the lake to the west. Yeah, number 15. Most of the sites here are pretty though. All right, let's go find some more stuff. If you're camping at Piney Point and you need to get a little exercise, welcome to the Shady Harbor Hiking Trail. This actually goes over to Rocky Point Campground it's 1.2 miles, supposedly it takes you an hour, so that'd be a two hour round trip. I'm not sure that I'm gonna give that a go on a little red because of some serious changes in grade here. Now you, you can't really tell from the camera, but this we're on a ridge on the top, a ridge back. And I think that goes down into the, into the bottom lands. I don't know, we'll see. First off, we gotta go see the rest of the stuff. If the campsite playground is too crowded and you just you just got the urge to, cause sometimes you just need to swing. They got you covered. There's even a swing for the little tykes. And, and you can play some volleyball. Seems to be a very common theme here at Right, Patman Lake. Those people out here in East Texas must really be into volleyball. All right, let's go see some more stuff. You considering a group gathering in East Texas and you need some echo? <laughs> There's actually a group pavilion here at, at Piney Point. And they expect you to cook for a whole bunch of people. Look at that, you got hamburger grill on one side and smoker on the other. 
too. Let's go see something else. Let's go find some more Piney Point stuff. Since we've seen all the stuff here in Piney Point Park that there is to see, let's go take a look at uh, below the, I'm gonna cruise down below the dam. It's kind of weird to get there. You have to go back out on the highway and go across the river and then come back uh, and then come across the dam. <laughs> it's it's kind of weird. But we're gonna go down, if there's a couple of points of interest there below the dam. Uh, and it'll be a, a good addition to the Piney Point Park video. All right, let's go do it. Model aircraft are your are your passion, and you're coming out to Wright Patman, the Texarkana Radio Control Flying Club, Ravel Strowman Field is going to be of interest to you. If you're not in the radio controlled aircraft, this may not be of interest to you. But it's a runway and a, and a place to work on your, your birds. All right, moving right along. Traveled over to the outflow from the dam so that we can check out the outflow. There's the outflow. There's lots of carp in those waters. Lots of big catfish too. Not sure if you can see them. <laughs> Those are some big catfish. All right, we're gonna go to the other side. And see if we can get a, a different perspective. It looks about the same on this side as it did on the other. But you can certainly see the big fish in there. This is the, the Sulphur River. That's, that's a lot of, a lot of big fish. All right, let's go see some more stuff. This epic, and I mean epic, this epic sunset view at Piney Point Park is sponsored by campgroundviews.com. Welcome to your secret weapon to finding the perfect campsite. Campground virtual tours are here, they're real, and they're available for you. Have you ever been to Joshua Tree National Park? We have now. You're in Jumbo Rocks Campground, the most popular campground within that national park, and you're taking a look around. You're seeing the roads. You're seeing the sites. You're seeing how far away that restroom is from those sites. Details never before available to you as a camper are at your fingertips right now. You can even enter the dates of your stay. I'm going to be there on September 14th. You enter that date, hit confirm, and your map will update showing you which sites are green and available for your stay. Click on them and jump up to and take a look at that particular campsite. Is this one right for you? If it is, that's a pretty cool spot, isn't it? If it is, click on it, click book, and there you go. You can book that campsite right now. Campground virtual tours are available, as noted, for over 860 locations all across the United States. Go to campgroundviews.com, click on the virtual tours tab, and you'll see all the tours we have available right now. Note there's pages. Simply click on the pages to load more results and it'll update the map and the listings below with the different campgrounds we have available. If you want to go by state, click the regions tab and you can easily go to the various states that we currently have tours available of campgrounds all over the place. The campground virtual tours are a game changing experience and we invite you to join now by going to campgroundviews.com, clicking on join and signing up. Link is in the card and in the description below. Piney Point Park. You have this epic view on, on some of the sites, but it comes, 
it comes at a cost uh, during the summer. It's, that's a lot of sun shining right on the side of your RV. Warming it up. But, you know, everything's got a price. My patio view is not of the, the epic lake view. I had that yesterday, kind of. I didn't have that yesterday. I haven't had an epic lake view on this journey. I got a great lake view here. I don't have an epic. Anyway, I'm done for the night. I'm done for the day. Time to eat supper. Talk to you tomorrow. Good morning. I guess we need to see the other side of the cup this morning. There you go. Got the pretty Texas. I just love this coffee cup. In case you're wondering, I bought this at the, the Sam Houston Statue Center in Huntsville, Texas. They had a, several of these great coffee cups. See that? The, the sun is at the the wrong angle. Let me let me move a little bit here. Uh, that's that's a little better, except for the dead down trees in the background. But that's what I've had to look at since I've been here at Piney Point Park, the Triple P place. So let's let's talk about Piney Point Park. First thing, let's. The beautiful tall trees. Lots of them over there. Here where I'm set up, not so much. I think it's the result of lots of wind damage or something. Because there's there's lots of stumps, so there used to be lots of trees here. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. If I was traveling with the Starlink, that would give me a perfect shot at the northern sky. I'm not traveling with Starlink because I'm just out here shooting video. For you, Piney Point Park. A lot of road noise. The Highway 59 is just right up right there. And last night there were 
I don't know if they were drag racing or just big trucks going home for the end of the day, but it was really loud. And then you have the noise from the water intake over there. That's about like air conditioner noise that you hear. My air conditioner just turned on. Uh, so it's not uh, invasive, intrusive. The highway noise, that was intrusive last night. But that's what happens when you sleep next to the highway. Of uh, so far, I have been into three different campgrounds here on Wright Patman Lake, three Corps of Engineer campgrounds. And of the three that I have visited, Piney Point Park would be in third place. The sites are, are okay. They need, they, you know, some are in desperate need of renovation as far as the pad goes. They've planted trees to replace the ones that are down. There's some litter, not a lot, but there's, it's noticeable. The biggest thing is the noise. I mean, the highway noise is really loud. So I think this is more of a, a waypoint as opposed to a destination because uh, water access is very limited. There's really only this cove over here that you can get into the water or get to the water. There's only a couple of sites that have really good sunset views, but it, it would, it's a great waypoint stop. It beats, uh, beats sleeping in a Walmart parking lot. You have electricity for your air conditioner. I don't think it's a destination unless you can't get into one of the other two campgrounds that are currently open on Wright Patman Lake. If I had to choose of the, the three that I've been to, Clear Springs was definitely prettier, in my personal opinion, than any of the others. I'm not saying that this is a bad campground, it's just a, a second place. It is always gonna be a second place campground, unless they came in and totally refurbished. I'm gonna fix some breakfast, do a little editing, and I'm gonna move on farther down the lake. We're gonna head over to, make sure you subscribe, because you're not gonna wanna miss the next campground. If, if you're familiar with it, I'm headed back to Atlanta State Park, named after the little town of Atlanta. That's a pretty park. I was there four years ago in the winter and it kind of, it was, the weather was horrible. So I'm going to go back and see it in its prime. Remember to subscribe, click that bell as well. If you're still with me at this point, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I do these videos for you. Thank you. If you've not already, I'd be honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button. And for those of you who have been following along, <laughs> that's, that's why I'm here. Thank you. I, I so appreciate that. That I appreciate that you're giving me that opportunity. And for my patrons, I am grateful. You rock. All right. We'll see you down at Atlanta State Park. Y'all come back now, you hear?